Yes, the topic is about the cylinder. So here I have shown one cylinder, and uh, the, the cylinder has the following parts, namely this part of the cylinder that is called as base, which rests on the table. So this part is called as base. The shape of the base is uh, circular, and this center is called as base center. Center of the base is called as base center. And uh, this part is called as uh, top surface. The top surface of the cylinder is also circular in shape. And uh, further I can say, uh, the, the, it has uh, for some more parts to be learned. This is called the center of the base. This is the uh, center of the uh, top surface. An imaginary line joining the center of the base and the top surface is called as axis. Shown red in color. It's a broken line, or shown as or further called as a discontinuous line, shown like this, joining the center of the base and the center of the top surface is called as axis. Here, uh, one uh, thin rod is used to denote or to exhibit the axis. So this is called as axis. Basically, it's an imaginary line, and this rose-colored part is called as uh, lateral surface. Lateral means outside surface. Of the cylinder is called as lateral surface of the cylinder. The next solid is called a prism. So here I have shown one prism called a triangular prism. This name name of the solid is a triangular prism. So you can look at this base. This is a base part of the prism base. The shape of the base is a triangular shape, and the top surface is also a triangular shape. So having uh, three sides on its base, three sides. Base having three sides, top surface is also having three sides. So it is, hence the prism is called as uh, triangular prism. And uh, the line joining the center of the base, center of the base and the center of the top surface is called as axis of the prism, triangular prism. And uh, this yellow color is called as a face, F A C E face. Face, F A C E face. So you can see this object having uh, three faces one, two, and three faces. This rectangular uh, shape is called as a face, F A C E face of the prism. This is base, this is top surface having triangular shape, so called a triangular prism. And further, you also, also want to know that uh, this uh, blue color. It has three blue line, uh, edges. It's called as uh, vertical edges. The next solid is called a cube or cuboid. A square prism can be called as cube. So uh, let me take this as an area. And uh, the square prism can become as a cube or cuboid when the height of the prism equal to the base side. That means when all the sides of the prism are equal, then it becomes as a cube. So this is a cube shown out here. So here you can see this. Uh, this is a base. This part considered as a base. This is top surface, and these are called the faces. F A C E S. This is a rose color are called face. So when the face and the base sides are equal, having a square shape, then the solid is called as cube. So you can see this. This is the length of the base side, base edges or base side. And this is the height of the cube. When the base sides and the height are equal, then it becomes as a cube. And also, I have shown the axis, imaginary line, joining the center of the base and the center of the top surface is called as the axis of the cube. And it has the six faces, including the base and the top surface. It has the six faces, and these are called as vertical edges. This gold color is called as vertical edges, and this is the axis imaginary line shown red in color. And all the sides are equal. This is about a simple explanation about Q. Yes, the next solid object is called as pentagonal prism. And looking onto this base of the prism is of having a pentagon of having five sides. This is having five sides on its base, and the top surface is also having five sides. Then the prism is called as pentagonal prism. Pentagon means having five sides, and uh, this blue color is called as vertical edges. Five vertical edges are there in the prism called the pentagonal prism. 
and the line joining the center of the base and the center of the top surface is called as an imaginary line called as axis shown in this diagram and these are called as base edges this gold color are called as base edges or base sides so having a regular uh, size, it is equal in size, so it is a regular pentagonal prism and uh, this yellow color is called as a face, F-A-C-E, face of the prism it has uh, five faces all the faces are of uh, re rectangular shape rectangular shape is called face and it has uh, five corners on its base and the top surface is also having five corners yes, the next solid object is called the hexagonal prism and looking on to the base sides, how many base sides are there we can classify the prism since it has uh, six edges, six base sides six base sides so this is called as uh, hexagonal prism and uh, this is a top surface it's also having uh, six base sides it's a regular, all the six sides are equal so it can, can be called as uh, hexagonal prism shape each face is of rectangular shape and further it has uh, axis it's an imaginary line joined in the center of the base and the top surface is called as axis as shown red in color it's a discontinuous line the next solid object is called as cone uh, see look onto this base part of the cone is, is of a circular shape it's a base having circular shape called the base of the cone and it has a center this is called base center and this part of the cone is called as apex A P E S apex the topmost point or the point is called as apex of the cone here also it is shown in this diagram apex and the slant edges in cone are called as genditis so this is a circular base and a point on the base circle and a point on the base circle and a point that is an apex a line joining the apex and the base circle any one point if we consider that uh, is called as uh, generators there are numerous of generators along the lateral surface of the cone so one of the generator is shown at here basically it's a slant edge it's a slant edge is inclined it's called the slant edge in the slant edges in cone are called as generators this you have to remember and the solar part is called the lateral surface the lateral surface will have numerous of generators like this one of the generators is shown at here shown blue in color also you can look onto to this diagram axis is shown generators and the base is of circular shape yes now it is about the pyramids pyramids and look onto to this solid it is about uh, it's of uh, what is called as triangular pyramid so this is called as a triangular pyramid so how we see this as a triangular pyramid so the base is of triangular shape looking onto the base the pyramids are classified as a triangular pyramid, square pyramid uh, rectangular pyramid pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, heptagonal pyramid, octagonal pyramid like that and they look onto this base it is of a triangular shape so we classify this pyramid as a triangular pyramid and this is called as base edges or base sides and this point, the topmost point is called as apex uh, apex are inside in some questions it is also considered as vertex and uh, this yellow uh, color is called as a face F-A-C-E face, it is of a triangular face it has a three, three triangular face this uh, edges, this uh, blue color shown edges are called as slant edges so slant means inclined so the edges are inclined, so it's called as a slant edges. There are three slant edges shown blue color, called as a slant edges of the triangular pyramid. Yes, the next solid object is of a square pyramid. See the base part is shown red, uh, yellow color is called as the base part of the pyramid, and the shape of the base is a square shape. So we call this as a square pyramid, and these are called as base edges or base sides shown blue color base edges are base sides and these red color are called as slant edges there are four slant edges are there in this uh, square pyramid and this uh, topmost point is called as apex and it has uh, four base corners or uh, four base vertex can also be called or base corners and these are called as a triangular face triangular face four faces are there 
shown uh, rose in color. It's called a uh, triangular face, F A C E face. This is base, and these are base sides. These are base. Uh, what is called as slant edges. It's also shown in this diagram clearly. And an imaginary line joining the center of the base, and the apex is called as uh, axis. Shown by discontinuous line like this, called the axis of this imaginary line called the axis. So this is a simple explanation about a square pyramid. Yes, the next pyramid is called the pentagonal pyramid. Uh, looking onto this base part of the pyramid, it of uh, is of uh, what is called as a pen. It has five sides on its base. Five sides means you can call this as a pentagon. So the corresponding pyramid is called as a pentagonal pyramid. These gold color are called as base sides or base edges. Five base edges are there. And it also has five base corners are there. This is apex of the pyramid, and these are called as blue color are called as slant edges. There are five slant edges are there in this uh, pentagonal pyramid, and these are called as a face. The yellow color part is called as a face. F A C E face. There are five faces are there. Each are of a triangular shape. So the diagram is also shown in this board. Uh, looking onto the base, how many sides are there in the base? Uh, seeing that uh, the pyramid is classified, so slant edges. Whereas in uh, prism, if under the hexagonal prism, it has uh, vertical edges. The blue color one is called as vertical edges. Whereas this here in this pyramid is, is called as slant edges. There is a difference between uh, prism and pyramid. So if slant edges are slant, vertical edges are slant, then it is classified as pyramid. If the vertical edges, uh, if the edges are vertical. So it is called as a prism. This is prism. This is pyramid. So this is the diff main difference. The next pyramid is called the hexagonal pyramid. How it is called as hexagonal pyramid? Uh, the reason is, if you look onto this base part of the pyramid. It is of uh, having six sides. It is a polygon. Polygon means uh, if plane figure having more than three sides are called as three or more sides are called as uh, polygon. If you if you if the base is having three sides, it's called a triangular triangle, and four sides means a square. Then the five sides means pentagon, hexagon. So the next main classification among the pyramids is of a rectangular pyramid. And look onto this base. This green color part is called the base of the pyramid. The shape of the pyramid base is called is of a rectangular shape, rectangular shape. Uh, so it is classified as a rectangular pyramid, and uh, this is axis, uh, imaginary line joining the center of the base or the center of the rectangle, and the apex is called as axis, and uh, the top corner is called as uh, apex, apex of the pyramid. So rectangular pyramid. So the rectangle will have uh, length and breadth. So that you have to consider, and it has uh, four corners on there in the base. And the slant edges shown blue color. For is 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 called a slant edge. Since it is inclined, it can call it as a slant edges. There are four slant edges are there in this rectangular pyramid. Called as a rectangular prism. And looking at this base part, is of green shown green color. Is of rectangle shape. The shape is base shape is rectangle. And the top surface is also having a same shape. And the size called a rectangle. It's called so it is classified as a rectangular prism. As the blue color one is called as vertical edges. The edges are that is uh, vertical. If it is inclined, we can call this as uh, pyramid, rectangular pyramid. Since here it is uh, vertical, it's called as uh, the face is having vertical edges. This are yellow color is called face. If it's the face having vertical edges, so it is called as a prism. And uh, looking onto this base part, what is the shape? So it is classified as rectangular prism. Yeah, thank you, thank you for listening.